I'm going to talk a little bit more about the, the FTP scene in Rosin. So uh, I know that you heard a little bit about this in the talks in the, in the morning. Uh, I was not here, I arrived late. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating things that were already told in the morning. But uh, anyway, they say that uh, in order to learn something, you have to listen to it at least three times. So I think it's good to, to repeat it. So, um, as you already know, uh, the Rosin project uh, is, is a European project. We are, we are starting the last year of the project right now. Uh, and the, the main objective of, of this project was to, it says there, to speed up the industrial uptake of advanced robotics applications in, in, the, in Europe. So, uh, we see that uh, ROS is being used uh, all around the world and we don't want Europe to be the, the, the last ones in, in doing that. So, we think that, that there is a lot of things to be done there. So, uh, the ROSIM project was based in th these three main, let's say, actuation pillars we, we had right now. So, in, the, in your right side, you see the, the education pillar. So, we had uh, different uh, activities for, for educating our European friends on, on, on ROS. So, we had this uh, these activities of the Rosin, Ros Industrial Academies, so these short courses for professionals. We had the, uh, the schools for, for students, the Ros schools. Uh, then we had this other pillar in the, in the middle about uh, software quality assurance. So we wanted to increase, to do actions to increase the, the quality of the, of the Ros software and to generate tools that people could use to, to develop based on, on Ros. And finally, the, the one pillar that I'm going to, to talk about is the, the FTPs. So we had this more than 3 million euros uh, for uh, getting uh, the ROS ecosystem to work. So meaning that we were accepting proposals from, from companies, research, research centers, universities. We were funding them to develop what we call the FTPs, which is the, the acronym for, for Focus Technical Projects. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that right now. So, uh, what we're doing this focus, focus technical project, so financing uh, projects based on ROS. So, uh, even I think in some of our, of our documents, we said that, yeah, so this has been more or less introduced. Okay. Um, so, you know all this. So, this one. Can I skip it also? Yeah, that's right. So just to show, the idea was to show a little bit how was the, the, the process of, of applying for an FTP. So we had uh, different, uh, different stages in, where, in which we were reviewing the, the submissions. But at the end, I think the, maybe the, the, the message that has to be taken from here is that uh, it was, or at least that was our, our uh, goal, that the process to submit an FTP application had to be quite easy because we wanted it to be some uh, agile. We, we didn't want people to lose their time working on the paperwork. We did want to have the, the, the results. So there was a first phase of uh, uh, FTP application, uh, which is already finished because the, the, the budget we had for, for FTP applications just finished. And then we have uh, another stage, which is currently running. So we are monitoring the, the FTP projects that are being run. And I think I say something more about that in some other slides. Uh, yeah, so this was the, the evaluation criteria we were using to evaluate the, the FTPs. So uh, as you can see, it's more or less obvious. So we wanted these FTPs to have a real impact, so that's why uh, there was some uh, criteria based on, well, does it contribute to Ross Industrial, but also on the impact and the market they, these projects uh, had. So uh, the main idea was that the projects were not just, just yet another Ross package, but uh, the objective was that the results of the FTPs were something that someone was interested in, in, in developing and using, of course. Uh, then I'm skipping this one. Yeah, so um, just one minute of it about this one. So this is the, the, the monitoring phase so for all the FTPs that are being executed. Um, uh, so usually the FTPs were 
uh, organized in three different milestones. For, for us, the most important part was the, the first milestone, and we were, I think, evaluating them quite closely. So mainly looking at the quality assurance aspects. Uh, so there was this uh, panel of, uh, of experts that were reviewing the, the reports and checking that uh, the performers were, were doing uh, fine. Uh, and additionally, we were, let's say, offering some, some additional services. So uh, upon request, we could advise them. And uh, for example, so we had, uh, Andre was talking here before, so we had, he was the representative for the quality assurance part of the project, but uh, we had many uh, ROS experts in the, in the consortium that uh, could advise these uh, FTP performers. Um, we were also, in some cases, encouraging to uh, some of them, okay, I just realized that you don't see my mouse here. But, uh, we were encouraging to, to use some of the, re of the results that we were also producing as part of the ROSIM project. And then we had also some one-to-one uh, -one meeting and, and joint workshops in which we were able to discuss a little bit about the, the progress. Uh, so FTPs, where were, what were these this projects supposed to be? So uh, more or less everything was, was affected. So it could be part of a hardware, hardware related components, so uh, developing drivers for certain hardware components in ROS. Uh, the, the reps, so improving or, or uh, proposing new uh, documentation for ROS, new algorithms, new applications, so almost w whatever that had to be with uh, ROS in general and advanced robotics. So uh, if you're interested in the, in the results, and you should be, I just encourage you to visit uh, this web page, part of the of the Rosin uh, webpage because you can find there the, the list of the, of the FTPs, both the ones that are already finished but also the ones that are uh, ongoing. So you can get there the, the information about the projects and you can get uh, links to, for example, uh, most of the projects were publishing the their results as part of a GitHub repository or some other uh, repository platforms, so you can get the, the links there. So if you wonder uh, what kind of components you can find here. So this is some examples of some drivers and applications. So you can see, for example, uh, the official driver for the, for the universal robot robot, for the universal robot robot, yeah, uh, is one of the results of the FTPs. Uh, you can find uh, drivers for 3D cameras, like the CBIT, the Insenso, the Roboception stereo cameras. Uh, you can find uh, tools. So um, here you can see some, some examples. So for example, you have this pattern manager, which is, uh, well, again, you cannot see my mouse. Uh, what, what is a kind of application layer in which uh, you can easily implement uh, these pick and place applications in which you can configure your palletizing uh, setup. So just look at, uh, at this web page because I, I hope you find many interesting things that you can use in your own uh, developments. And then just uh, to finalize, some uh, quick uh, statistics about the, the FTPs. So uh, at least one thing that uh, surprised myself is that uh, Spain was the, the leading country in the number of FTPs proposed. So uh, there was 17 FTPs proposed and executed by, by uh, Spanish companies or research centers. Uh, and then you can see that the distribution is quite good along, uh, along Europe. So the, the, the plot in the top right is the, the distribution by number of uh, FTPs, and the one in the bottom is the distribution by, by budget, which shouldn't be that different. There are some, some small differences. Uh, I think also quite interestingly, uh, almost 50% of the, of the applications or the FTPs that have been executed were executed by system integrators. So this was one of the, of the main objectives of the project. We didn't want to have, as I said before, so many, let's say, academic results. We wanted to have uh, uh, things that could more or less easily be used into, into industry and, uh, and to, into industrial applications. 
And uh, in terms of the of the project categories, so I don't know if you can see there the, the the names, but we had some some definition of which type of project was it. So you can see, for example, that there was a 20 percent more or less of the projects were related with uh, drivers, so hardware specific projects, and 12 percent uh, new algorithms, 18 percent were improvements on existing ROS components. 12% was uh, documentation. Uh, and finally, uh, as I said before, uh, the last uh, FTP round was done uh, last September. So here you can see uh, all the FTP rounds that we have had up to now and the, the number of proposals that were accepted in each of the rounds. So there is a, a peak on, on November 2018, but otherwise it has been quite, uh, quite uniform. And uh, so the plan now is that it's not so interesting to listen uh, to us talking about how good were the FTPs. I think it's much better if we hear to some FTP performers talk about how their experience was. So uh, do you want to say something? Yes, very briefly, because in this graph, so maybe you are surprised that at the end there are not that many FTPs. Mm -hmm. uh, that's because we are still in the contract phase for the ones granted in September. That's why I think there, there yeah. are only two. These are only the. Yeah. Made, but I think now we have like uh, more than eight accepted mm -hmm. FTPs. So there's another peak now in the last round. Yeah. Thanks for the clarification.